Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and today we're going to be putting the game to the test after the latest update, which introduced tiny cannons and also, apparently, optimizations that allows the game to be able to handle a lot more projectiles, a lot more cannon shots and bullets on the screen at the same time. So, uh, that means we have to revisit the cannon wall. And we're just gonna really see what the limits are when it comes to how many cannons we can fire and how laggy the game gets. So I'm gonna be doing this with both the tiny cannon, which is the new one, and the tank cannon, because you can't have a cannon wall video without an actual tank cannon with the giant explosive projectiles and that had some really interesting effects last time. Okay, so first things first, when you're building a cannon wall is uh, you need the wall. The cannon, you can fit so many more cannons than you used to be able to fit. Like for the small cannons, I don't even think I did small cannons in my cannon wall video because like these are so inconvenient to place. Like look at this. And then if I want to place more, I can't even like place them on top. I'd have to have more blocks in between. But now, now, <laughs> every single block that this wall takes up can have a cannon on it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. How many cannons is this? The good thing is it's gonna be really easy to count cannons because uh, one of these cannons is one power core. So if we look at our power core counts, we will see exactly how many cannons we have. So this is 128 cannons. So now let's get ourselves a seat so we can actually shoot these things. And this thing is gonna have some kickback, I'm pretty sure. Let's see how the game handles this. Why is it tilting forward? I guess it's probably heavy on the front, isn't it? All right, well, here we go. Oh! Perfect! No way! <laughs> I just created a back-flipping cannon wall. It's perfect! Ah! Oh. oh, wait, no, this is even better now. Ready? Okay. Oh, all right, there we go. So now I kind of... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This brings up some ideas. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of fun in this episode. There's gonna be so many things that we can do. See, now when you do something like this with the large tank cannons, they have an explosive uh, impact, which means that this would destroy you and also send you flying through the air faster than the speed of sound. But it would destroy the creation, meaning you wouldn't be able to use it again. But these do not have an explosive impact, as you can see. But what is interesting is uh, that we were apparently bottom heavy. Oh, there we go. All right, we have a flyer. <laughs> All right, now if I give this thing some wings, I think we might be able to stay in a stable trajectory. Let's do this. Now, we're like a minute into this video and we're already going on a tangent here, but that's just kind of how my test videos end up going. I try something out, I see what it does, and then it inspires me. It inspires me to just take it to a new level. There we go. Now we're a lot more stable. Look at that. No lag. Like, no lag at all. This is great. Look at this. This is so good. All right, and we're dead. Okay, well, 128 cannons was fun. Uh, let's see if we can double it. Oh, look at that. How easy was that? Okay, so uh, we're actually gonna have something interesting here. The maximum block limit is 700. So that means we can't have more than 700 tiny cannons, but it's gonna be even less than that because that count is gonna include the blocks that the cannons are attached to as well. Let's see how this feels. Oh boy, this is nice. We don't even need the wings anymore. And still, I'm getting my full 60 frames. Oh, I just, oh, I have seat controls. I can control this thing. I have almost, uh oh, uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on here. Hold on, don't worry, I got this, I got this, there we go. Look at that. This is actually not too bad to control. The only thing is I don't have yaw, so I can't, I can't rotate horizontally. But pitch and roll is good enough. I can technically go wherever I want to go, it's just if I want to go backwards, my controls are going to be all weird. All right, or I could do it like this. Oh, there we go, I just turned around without yaw. I mean, I guess that's kind of how a plane works anyway. You don't need y'all to turn around. You just use your pitch and roll. All right, let's see if I can land this thing on a catapult. How awesome would that be? Oh boy, I'm losing control. This isn't looking good. As soon as I say I want to do something cool, game's like, nope. 
All right, I got it now. I got it now. We're gonna land on this catapult. This is looking really promising. This is gonna be epic. Like this thing technically has zero like actual controls. Oh, we did it first try. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot believe how effective this thing is. This is the most basic thing I can imagine for a cannon flyer. I just want a nice soft landing. Oh my goodness, what's going on right now? All right, ready? Oh, I lost like a single cannon. It came right off of the corner. Whoa, where did I go? This is an interesting part of the world. Scrapman exists. Scrapman doesn't exist. Scrapman exists. Scrapman doesn't exist. Exist? Non-existence. Existence? Non-existence. Present? Not present. Here? Not here. Somewhere? Nowhere. Let's double it again! Okay, so now we have 512 cannons firing simultaneously. Is the game going to have any lag with this? You know what? There's like a... Oh, no, that was just my camera angle, I think. I am very... Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. Whoa! Okay. All right, well, I have to spawn in another creation and fly over it with this thing. That's the only reasonable... That's the only reasonable place to go from here, right? Okay, and forward. Oh, I j did I really just hit the corner? So one thing about this right now that I'm definitely noticing, and I'm probably noticing too, is the uh, the muzzle flash exists, but it doesn't render the bullets. But I think despite not rendering the actual bullets, I think they're still, they still exist. They're still there. Kind of like I was still existing just a minute ago. But you just can't see them. So I'm gonna fly over this thing again. Okay. Oh, there it goes. It was just, that was just, that was a delayed annihilation if I've ever seen one. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta do this in a more controlled manner. Lower to the ground. Ooh, ooh, that noise was aggressive. Hey, I'm seeing the bullets now. All right, ready? And there we go. There's some destruction. Okay, so now uh, I wanna see this thing as a wall. All right, I think I've gotten as close as I can to the maximum number of cannons, at least all facing in the same direction on a wall, which I think would be the most interesting. So the best I could get is 664 cannons all facing in the same direction. So let's see how the game handles this. Oh, do those come back down? Well, I think they're gone. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, now they're disappearing. Yeah, so it can only handle so many. Uh, yeah, it can only handle so many that are actually existing at a time. Then they start to not exist anymore. There we go. Okay, so now I really want to see what happens when I stand on this. Okay, nothing happens when I stand on it. <laughs> Okay, but here's another thing we could do. We can rotate this this way, and then we can put an anchor block on the bottom of it. It is an upright cannon wall. Oh my goodness, it's like a spring. Uh, I can't see anything happening in front of it. All right, you know what we need to do? We need to reset somewhere. Let's go somewhere flat over here. There, we oh man. That looks so epic. Look at the smoke trail of the impacts. That is so cool. This is awesome. This is fun stuff. Okay, so now obviously we gotta put some creations in front of this thing. So let's go ahead and just spawn in a vehicle. What's the best vehicle I have for this? All right, how about this? This thing was uh, a very terrible vehicle I made for a multiplayer tiny cannon battle. Let's see how it handles a bunch of walls of tiny cannon. And it's gone. All right, well, let's try it against the giant target. Go! Well, that's one way to drill a hole. <laughs> now we're getting some frame lag, but that's not even because of the cannon. That's because of the destruction. 
All right, I am really looking forward to seeing how it does with the large cannons when it comes to this. Okay, but now we still have an unanswered question. What about if I have this thing flying up in the air? And there we go. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to control the, the uh, it's not even, it's not even. The center of thrust is not centered. All right, well, we've at least answered the question of how many tiny cannons can the game handle? And the answer is apparently all of them. It can handle all of the tiny cannons. As many as you can put on a creation, it can handle. Oh, 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 unless. I can only fit 664 cannons on a cannon wall, but what if I spawn in two cannon walls and activate both of them? Let's see how the game handles this. All right, there's one active. There's two. Oh, now we're feeling. There we go. <laughs> All right, I found it. I found the the limit of the. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I've made a terrible mistake. I made it backspace. Backspace. Please respawn. Respawn before the game breaks. Oh no. I'm Pressing backspace, come on! Oh, my game is gonna crash. Uh oh. What have I done? I knew it was a stupid idea, but I had to. Oh! What's happening? I don't even know if you guys are seeing the same frames I'm seeing right now. Oh my god. It's, the, the game's like, it's on the edge. It is on the edge of broken right now. Oh, fireworks! I think we're almost there. We're getting more frames back. We have a frame a second now. There we go, five frames, six frames, eight. And we're back. We are back to normal. All right, the game uh, survived. I mean, not completely. There's so what is happening right there? That's not how I built it. Yeah, so a thousand plus cannons does not make Trailmakers a happy game. All right, now time to move on to the tank cannons. There's no way this can go any worse. Oh my goodness. We're at 648 blocks, 1,728 power cores. Hey, Google, 1,848 divided by three. The answer is 616. All right, we have 616 tank cannons. Three, two, one. No way. No way. Where is it? Where did, the, where did they go? Are they gonna come back down? I'm scared. All right, I don't think they're coming back down. I thought they, I thought these things came back down though. All right, you know what I need to do? I need free cam. All right, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, fire. Oh, apparently they disappear when they get out of range now. That used to not be the case. Okay, well, let's have this thing facing in a certain direction. Three, two, one, go. Yep. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh my god, it can't fi- <laughs> This thing has so much recoil, it literally- it can't even. It just- it literally can't even. Right, three, two, one, fire! That lagged the game out a little bit. That definitely lagged the game out a little bit. Oh! One of those is gone. One of those blue barrels went so fast. All right, you know, I have to, I have to press the button right now. I'm gonna get in my seat here. Oh, I'm gonna get destroyed. We're putting an indestructible seat on this thing. All right, here it goes. What speed are we gonna reach? Watch that speedometer in the bottom left-hand corner. In three, two, one, blast off. Actually, that wasn't as extreme as I was expecting it to. We definitely broke the sound barrier, but I don't know. I didn't see the number. I'm going to have to do it again. How long is it going to take to get back down on the ground? Am I even going to land on the ground? I'm not going to land on the ground, am I? Oh, <laughs> we got some barrels flying off in the distance. All right, I'm going to watch close this time. It's too quick. I didn't even see it get over a thousand but it had to have in order to break the sound barrier. So it must be like instantaneous. And then 
after that, just instant uh, de de deceleration. Couldn't think of the word. All right, I don't even know why I'm gonna do this because I think it's pretty obvious what the results are gonna be, but uh, you can't have a giant tank cannon wall like this and not put creations in front of it. I know it's just gonna be complete annihilation. Utter destruction. All right, this isn't the most straight on target here, but I really don't think it's gonna make a difference. I think we all know what's gonna happen as soon as I press the space bar. Okay, here it goes in three, two, one, blast off. My expectations were defied. You dare defy me? If that's the case, more experimentation needed. Hey, Ragdoll Buster, long time no see, remember me? I need your help with something. Can you just, uh, can you just stand right there? Yeah, you just, or sit, you know, you, you might want to sit down for this. That's understandable. Yeah, you just sit, have a, okay, no, you can stand. All right, you just want to do the in-between thing. Your hands are very animated. Did you learn sign language? Are you trying to tell me something? I think it's trying to communicate with me. Sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. It's okay, it's gonna be hard to hear over the cannons anyway. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> he, he like shook his head. He shook his head no when I said, are you ready? He's like, no, I'm not ready. Well, don't worry, it, you don't have to be ready. It's gonna happen anyway. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh! I think I know what's happening. <laughs> Because there is a wall of explosive cannons firing all at once, the bottom ones are hitting the ground as it approaches the target. So the explosion shockwave is actually reaching the target before the unexploded projectiles get to it. So it actually manages to survive without taking the full force of the damage because it gets expelled away from the blast zone. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. There's no other reasonable way in which something could survive a shot from this. But that was so fun to see. Uh, I kind of have to see it again. All right, this time, Buster, this time, just look away. All right, just look away. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's standing up this time. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. Oh, he survived! How did you survive that? I thought for sure he was gonna be a goner that time. He lost an arm and a leg. This experiment literally cost Buster an arm and a leg to participate in. I'm sorry, man. At least, uh, at least it looks like you've ascended once again. All my Busters tend to uh, end up ascending to the next plane of existence after doing experiments with me. Is that a good thing? Sounds like a good thing when I phrase it that way, at least. Let's stick with that. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The follow-up experiment with masses and masses of cannons uh, had amazing results. As far as I remember, this is like leaps and bounds better performance than the last time I did something like this. Like even just to do that, I couldn't do, I don't remember, I think I, I think I couldn't do that last time. Like, and to see the explosions and have this good of performance, they really did improve the cannon uh, projectile performance. So trail makers, you passed my test. You definitely, I think you passed my test on this one. If you have any other crazy ideas like this you'd like to see me try out in Trail Makers, let me know down in the comments below. If you want more Trail Makers content, check out this stuff on the end screen right here. And also check out the merch store if you want to get some merch and some limited time stuff that's going to be gone at the end of the month. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.